What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy Photoshop tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we are gonna learn how to add an Aurora Borealis to any photo you choose. As you can see here, we have an example image of an Aurora Borealis to kind of build this from. Just kidding, this is just the Photoshop comp. This is not real. This is all different Aurora Borealises inside this photo. And on another example, I added it to the New York skyline. It looks pretty good, not too bad. It looks better over the mountains and stars. As always guys, feel free to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all the videos. You can also check out the Twitter, Instagram, and Discord channel all linked down below. And if you like the song you're currently listening to, you can sign up for a 30 day free trial to Epidemic Sound. So you can also have cool music for your videos too. Let's get started. Okay, so we have our base photo inside of Photoshop. Now you can download this photo in the link down below. It's an unsplash photo, it's completely free, great website, download this photo and follow along. Now what we're using today is something called Photoshop brushes. If you don't know what Photoshop brushes are, they're an amazing tool to just kind of paint on really awesome stuff. So what you're gonna do is use the link down below to download this brush pack right here called Aurora. Um, it's completely for free. Just download it, use it. Once you extract the file, put it here. You'll see the, a link that look, or you'll see a file that kind of looks like this. Now, what you'll do in Photoshop is go to your brush tool over here on the left. If you don't see your brush tool, hit Window and then Tools. It'll open it up. Hit your brush tool. Hit down on this little arrow right here. Hit this little icon right here and then go to import brushes. This is where you can actually double click the Aurora icon or the Aurora file, I guess, and import your new brushes. Now that you've imported your brushes, let's uh, create a new layer, grab our brush tool, and then drop down on our brushes and then drop down on Aurora. Now we can actually find a really awesome brush to use. So let's use number nine. Let's increase the size all the way to 5,000 pixels and let's change the color of the Aurora. I have it set to green because that's typically what you see um, you know, in videos and stuff, but we can change it to like a, a yellow this time. I mean, I'm sure it can't hurt. And then uh, put it on here. Uh, now, as you can see, the layer is a little too small for this picture. Um, you may have a smaller resolution photo that you're using that makes it a lot simpler, but what we need to do is increase the size of this layer. So with the layer moved, let's ping it to the corner, uh, hit Command T or Control T on your keyboard, it will just increase the size for us. And then hit the check mark. Now we have a yellow Aurora Borealis, just like that. Now, as you can see here, I did an example file of all the different brushes included in the pack. So you can actually kind of sample through them really quickly. Um, and they all look pretty good. I mean, uh, some look better than others, uh, but I think uh, number three, two, one, I think number eight looks pretty great. Number nine is pretty good. Yeah, and I think it's great. And that is how you add a fake Aurora to your photos or a fake Aurora Borealis to your photos. As always guys, I'm Max. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.